All right, we are headed into Sam's Club. Let's see what they got. This is the October Sam's Club. I know they probably got some Christmas stuff, but we gotta do a little bit of a stock up, so let's see what we can find. Let me show you some. This is so cute. It is a 20, 25 bucks. It's a hot cocoa and treat serving set. Look at the cute little mugs. Each one can be scary. Come, come sit for a spell. I love this. This is so cute. I don't need it, but it's really cute. And they got the Halloween candy. I'm excited for Halloween, but honey, I'm ready for Christmas. Pumpkins. Go to the pumpkin patch. Don't buy the pumpkins there. Come to Sam's Club. Okay, so here are their, hol their holiday stuff. Look at this pumpkin. It's 170, but it's so pretty. I have this glass. They have a reindeer for. I think those are 160. No, the reindeer family is 219, and then that Christmas tree is 160. So pretty. And they have gold reindeer. I think those are 190. I think there's three in there. Oh yeah, there's three in there. Big ass snowman, 130. Look at that big old snow. <gasps> wow. Look at that. Prelit stacked ornaments, 180. No, yeah, 180. That's cool. And then the tree. I don't know if you can tell, but the where it spins and then there's a tree for 180. I don't know why this stuff's so expensive. This ornament's 120 and then that snowflake is 90. Hold on. Look at the green shit lights up. 169. Do you guys use these? And if you do, is your light bill out of this world? I remember we did it when we first got our house like 13 years ago and our light bill was high. I don't know if they're better. Now they have nutcrackers too. 10 feet. The um Grinch one is 10 feet too. Oh, oh, here it is in real life. Hold on. Yeah, in real life. <laughs> oh, look at it. I mean, it is big. That Grinch one is, is cool. Because it's so... So there's this, uh, the Nutcracker. It comes in like pinks too, so it's like a candy lamb. But this one is really cool. That thing is huge. And they have like a nativity set, uh, scene. It's like twinkling. That's 80. They got a pack of um, presents. Those are 130. They're nice. That's what the pack of presents looks like if you guys were interested. And then they have like an arch. It says Merry Christmas on there. That's 200. They have a, you know what? They actually have a pretty good stock. Um, I'm not showing you guys around. They have these like the garland, 50 bucks. And it's lit and it has the little decorations on there. They have a wreath that's also $50. They have all types of pillows for 18 and they have the pre-lit candles for 20 which is a better deal. They're battery operated too. That's a better deal than Amazon. Leo loves these. I think I'm going to surprise him with them next month and get them. But these are the Snoopy. Leo loves Snoopy. So he's his favorite. And look at those. Aren't they so cute? I found out yesterday that I'm able to have Christmas. And I'm so excited. This is the first time I've ever been able to have it. They also have a Minnie Mouse one. That's really cute. Lots of ornaments. I don't really need ornaments. I gotta pull out and see what I have. But I have like two themes. So like upstairs I do like a winter wonderland. And then downstairs I do like Christmas throughout. Like very traditional like retro Christmas. These are cute too. A lot of this stuff is just like space for me. They do have Christmas trees. 130 for a 7 foot Dawson. 7.5 foot flocked aspen for 190. And a 7.5 seven and a, or seven and a half foot spruce. For 200. Did you guys see that tree at um, Home Depot that's like gone viral on TikTok? You know that thing's $300? Good lord. If you guys wanted to start a village, here's a good little way. 30 bucks. That's cute. I like these things when they like are interactive like that. That one's 80. Costco has a better one that has uh, Disney. So I would rather do that one for the same price. Okay, they have three wood. Oh, it's only one? Gilded cashmere. Hold on. It smells good. That one, hon. Huh? That one smells really good too. Dang it. But you know what though? 20 bucks isn't bad for this big old candle. 26 ounces. Because if you think about it, Bad Bath & Beyond's... No, that's not what it is. Bath & Body Works candles are expensive as crap now. They're not even like... Remember these to the $8 candle days? They're like $11 now. They're not even cheap. Um, okay, here's the thing guys. I freaking love gnomes. These are so freaking cute. 50 bucks for a set of four. I don't know if you have a Bluey fan in your life. My nephew likes uh, Bluey. 
This is $25, and it's like a little truck and stuff. It's a Sam's Club exclusive. I don't think he would like that, though. I wonder if he would. Let's see what other toys they have. They have a ton of costumes. Also, toddler costumes are marked down to $12.98. So here's the thing. Even if your kid already has its costume, imagine picking these up and giving them for Christmas, and they can play dress up. My nephew came out yesterday, or I was over at his house over the weekend. He saves all of his costumes, and he plays like dress up in them. And it's so good for their imagination, too. So definitely look into that. Look at these costumes, only 13. Yeah. I would get some for Rocco for his Christmas gift because you don't remember when he came out and all of his gifts? Um, here's a play set. It's a pirate play set. It's really cute. 25 bucks. They also have like a tree house and a construction site. 25 bucks. I feel like this is like the Sam's Club little people. Or yeah, here. Look at Fisher Price little people. $35 princess castle. My kids loved this. If I had a little girl in my life, I would buy her that. So cute. My girls also had this. They all had one of these. <laughs> yeah, Sophie. I have a picture of Sophie on her first birthday. These are $35. All my kids had these. They have all the little cleaning supplies. My kids loved to play vacuums, play brooms, all that stuff when they were kids. Now that they're old enough to clean up their room, they, they don't like it anymore. I wish they would. Yeah, you can play with the real one now, honey. Jeez. Um, they have this Batman. Okay, this is $50. It is called the Showdown Playset. I like that they have a lot of toys for little boys. I feel like they never do, right? Big old dump trucks. I think these are $35. They light up. They have a tractor trailer. Look, it even has like the little wood logs. Okay, Leo's pressing all the buttons. Um, I don't know what these are. <gasps> Becky loves these. How much are these? This is um a magical surprise. And you... They come with two of them. We bought her one, and I want to say it was 30. I got it for, her, I think, for Christmas last year. Two pack, and it comes out with like a little stuffed animal. It's very much like, if you're my age, you remember, what was those things called, like, pound puppies? Oh, oh, oh. oh my god. It's 40. Remember pound, oh my gosh, okay. Does he have this? Smashers monster truck. I don't know. $25. Have, like, My nephew was a little bit on the spoiled side, but that's okay. Skeleton Screecher, Dino Drifter. He likes the monster. What's the guy's name? The guy he likes, Rocco. He likes Gravedigger and Megalodon. Megalodon and Gravedigger. Oh, I think they're all the same. Bummer. I'm gonna look one more. They got Megalodon on the cover, though. Yeah, they're all the That's same. That's the one he likes on the cover, but it's not on the Oh. Well, these are $25. Also, the Hot Wheels Monster Trucks Epic Loop That's is $35. Is this, are these the cars he likes? No, yeah, right? I'm, yeah, but I'm telling you, he has all this stuff. I will say it does look like a toy store threw up my sister-in-law's house. These are $20, little babies. I, used to, I actually bought this for my sister. I remember when she was little, the Barbie head. You could do their hair and their makeup, $15. Historical black colleges and universities. Love this, $30. Beautiful, beautiful, love this. They have the princess dolls. They have the Encanto, they have Tiana, Ariel, Belle, Frozen, uh, Anna. I thought that was the girl from... Anyways, they have all the selections here. $22. I'm not even going to tell you why I just paid the Disney store. So cute. Fake makeup and vanity set. I'm on my way, babes. $27, but wood. That'll last forever. And this, look at this kitchen. This is $20, and they all work. Leo likes to play with all the toys all the time. This is really cute. You can get a little kitchen set. Oh, look. Awesome. I won't like, take the things off. So. Oh, oh, that's good. Oh, it's a little cake cup. That's cute. I like this. This is really cute. I don't have a kid to buy this for. Let me ask you guys something. Should I be that person and get this for my nephew for Christmas? How pissed do you think my sister-in-law would be? Or I can get him laser ones. That would be fun. Oh, he has those already? Okay. If you guys have kids and they're in school or you have to buy snacks, Sam's Club is by far the best place to come. They have the best snacks and for the best prices, so definitely look into them. My sister loves this burrata cheese. I've never tried it, but she swears that it's so good. She makes a bunch of stuff with it now. Have you tried this, babe, the burrata cheese? They also have 
which maybe I'll get closer to the holidays, holiday entertaining cheeses, and I'll do a good old charcuterie board for the holidays. So they have these sweet English cheddar. This is twelve sixty eight. And then they have the goat cheese with strawberry or cranberry cinnamon. I don't know if that's good or not, but it sounds fancy. Caramel pecan topped brie. I bet you that's a good deal. But you're probably gonna have to bake that. That's nine dollars. So yeah, they have a lot of stuff for entertaining now, so that's fun. All right, let's see what they got over here. They have beef brisket, sliced grease beef brisket for $24. It's kind of expensive, but you know. Pulled pork, this is $12. They have the Jack Daniels pulled pork, and that's $15.98. Pulled chicken for $13.48. These are like already made stuff. Pork tamales, $13.99, but they my pork tamales. A gyro kit for 14 and then pork carnitas for 14 I got some sausages, cheddar and jalapeno, beef, and like a Maxwell Street. They're all, uh, the Maxwell Street are 12 the beef are 17 and then the cheddar jalapeno are 14 They have butter chicken. I don't know how much this is. I'm going to have Leo uh, scan it, but Rhea and Sophia and Becky love this. So they're getting you guys ready for entertaining. They have veggie trays, fruit trays, and they have ones with like cheeses in them for $44 a pound. So you're paying for the easiness of this. Um, they also have these like, what are they called? Shrimp penny pasta with vodka sauce. That's pretty cheap, 10 bucks. I don't think there's a lot of shrimp in there, I'm not gonna lie. This was $15, guess what? It's going back. No, no, no. Smoke carnitas, street taco dip. What is that? Spicy medium level. Hickory smoked pork with jalapenos, real cream cheese, and sour cream. It's eight dollars, seven sixty-eight. But we're not gonna eat that. But that sounds delicious. I'm also hungry. So they have this as well. Spicy Asia recipe boneless skinless chicken thighs. They're all marked down. Twelve ten bucks. My freezer is completely full, so we don't need any meat. But. I come to the uh, Sam's Club in Hodgkins, so I come early, like in the middle of the week, like Wednesday, and they always have to stock up on a little fresh fruit, fresh produce. I like to keep this on hand. That's kind of why we have to pop into the stores midweek, and instead of going, a little smelling all of them to see if any of them are going bad yet, but instead of like going into the like random grocery store, I'm just preferring to like pop in to Sam's Club like mid-month. And because we're pretty much out of all the fresh stuff we bought from Costco and some of the canned stuff that we need. And our meat supply is good, but again, we are trying to minimize our grocery budget and so stop. We're gonna eat most of these today and tomorrow, yeah, I'll, I'll put a little bit of sugar on them. I put a little bit of Splenda on them and the kids eat them up. But anyways, just to minimize the budget. You know, so our markdowns are the Go Gurts. I haven't bought those for my kids, I'm gonna be honest with you, they're not finishing them, and I'm tired of throwing them out. Um, they have a lot of these snacks on sale. Let's see, what's this other thing right here? Oh, thick sliced bacon. I think it's a pre-cooked one, 15 bucks. It's pretty good. Oh, yep, get one of those. Three packs of bacon, because we're making, I'll make you some Puerto Rican rice today, okay? I put, I put bacon in my rice. That's the only way. Um, This is a good deal. My kids like these. I think they're disgusting, but they're the Lunchables. I think they're three pepperoni. I think they're six for six eighty-seven. We could bring these for lunch. Mm, no, I'm not buying those. That is a good deal, but I'm not. I am so excited. Look what they have. They have the Alani New Limited Edition Witches Brew. We're going to get these. It's $17. It's a splurge. But that's okay because they're like $3 if I keep buying them at Target. And they are so good. They taste like an apple, green apple Jolly Rancher. They're my favorite. I literally just told Leo, didn't I? I was like, oh man, I wish they sold these ones in like a box. Oh, I'm so excited. If you guys haven't tried these, I don't think they're good pre-workout, but I think they're good to replace like an afternoon coffee. They're, they're a fave. They're a fave of mine. These look delicious. Here is a blueberry lemon twice baked cookie. Rhea would love these. Rhea loves like anything lemony and like desserts. It's $5.98. I think that's a new thing here. I've never seen them before. Also, I went to Walmart yesterday and they had their like fall coffee flavors, the Green Mountain brands on clearance, the big like 24 packs on clearance for $3.98. So check your Walmart if you like K-Cups at least, but they were good. So you guys know I just told you I'm having Christmas this year. These are $17.
let's see, 125 uh, containers with lids, like to go 17 bucks. I think we should do this for Christmas instead of wasting all of our plastic bags Can and let people. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna do this. What do you think? That's a pretty good idea, right? Especially Thanksgiving's coming, parties, if you're having a Halloween party and you like to send to goes and you don't have to go through like all your plastics and stuff. I feel like this is a good deal. Keep it in the pantry. I wanted to take you guys over here really quickly. These are freaking sharp. How much are these? $40. These are from Steve Madden. I'm going to bring you guys over here. I would buy these for Leo. These are so nice for dress shoes. For guys, like with some jeans. Right? I know that these see-through bags aren't ideal but I know that a lot of concerts and like even haunted houses are requiring see-through bags like when Rhea went to Taylor Swift she had to get one these are $14 I imagine if they have them in your area it'll probably be for your local sports team they do have a strap it's like a Chicago beer strap but they do have their holiday pajama sets in these are $20 from the Gap for ladies and men yeah I don't see any so far for kids oh I lied they have them for kids for $16.98 but you guys know these go by quick so also check out old navy um i know yesterday they had their family pajama sets on sale for 15 so these blazers are sharp 30 dollars they have it's from vince camuto as well so they have this pink and black very nice original price is 140 and you could feel the quality these are nice too these are from calvin klein and these are a vintage straight, straight high rise under the hip straight leg. I don't know how much these are. Oh, twenty-three dollars. <sighs> Tell me I don't need them. I don't need them. Christmas dresses for the girls. Eighteen dollars. Eighteen dollars. They're all eighteen dollars. Look at how pretty they are. Get these now, cause you know how they are. Little girls outfits, 19, they're three piece. Look at the beautiful sweater sets. These are from the Gap for little boys for 22. They have the nicest clothes, not only for girls, but also for boys, which I love because I know it's very hard for you guys to find clothes for your little guys. These are very nice. These are Eddie Bauer flannel shirts for 15 for the guys or for women, whoever. But I really like these colors. I think I might buy one for Leo for work. He likes to wear these to work. We need an extra round day and I like this color. I feel like he doesn't have anything like that, so I'm gonna get him one of those. But these are very pretty. Or, I shouldn't say pretty, because if I say they're pretty, he's not gonna want them. They have 505 Levi's jeans for 37. Axel, oh my gosh, I remember when these were like buckle Axel. Those are $18. These are also very nice for the holidays coming up. Just men's like over half zip polos. These are $22, no, $21.98 in Gap. Very nice colors too. These would be good for gifts as well. They have like the khakis right here for 22. You can get them a whole outfit from here. All right, last thing I see are these ladies Sherpa jackets from The Gap. These are $35. They come in this tan and this white. And then they have these two reversible sizes for sizes four to 16 for kids. But these are the Sam's Club brand. But these ones for the women are from Gap. I think that's it today, my friends. Let's go get our Scan and Go app. What do you guys think we spent today? Oh, they have Calvin Klein jackets for $45, nice and long. They have the shorter Eddie Bauer jackets for $35 for women. And then one more jacket before we wrap this up. This is a men's Parker from the Lucky brand for $40. And it comes in black and then in beige. And it has like the Sherpa hood on it. It's very, very nice. All right, let's get up out of here. We are home, and I am proud, honey. I am proud to say $221, baby. But I know this might seem like a lot, right? I think my Costco bill was like $375 plus $221. That's what, $345? $3, it's about $600 in groceries. I would say probably with, sometimes we still have to make those random pop-ins. I would say this month, we're going to be about $700, but I also made tamales, so that kind of accounts for stuff. And I did pick up extra meat because I found some stuff on sale. But $700 for somebody in a party of five, somebody who takes, you know, has to make extra for lunch for five days a week, who is on a pretty, you know, I kind of buy the same things for my meal plans. I think that's pretty good. Okay. Okay. Anyways, let me show you what I got this month. So this is going to be my Sam's Club 
stock up for October. Uh, first thing I got was this three pack of bacon. This is pork bacon. Um, I don't eat this, but I make rice with this and you know, bacon lasts forever. This was 10 bucks. So not too bad. Picked that up. I got a pack of, or a bundle of avocados. They're not ready yet, but they will be five and a quarter. Not bad. This was on sale and I needed it. This is the silk almond milk three pack and it was $7. It's $5 for one of these at my local grocery store. So I knew I had to pick that up and I was already going to run out. So that was on my list. My kids love crackers. That's like their favorite thing to do or eat. And it's like chilly right now. So I'm going to make some soup and I think I'm going to make some chicken salad because I have a ton of chicken breast. So um, we'll have the crackers to go with that as well. So these are on sale for $4. So pick those up. Ziploc bags, these are the gallon ones. These were $18, and it's just one of those things where you need them, but when you're on, it's better off just getting them on sale, but it is what it is. This will last me forever, probably, I imagine, until December-ish, so maybe even longer than that, so whatever, it's one of those things. I got some croissant sandwiches from my girls. Ignore that nail, I'm fixing them tomorrow. Um, I got these croissant sandwiches for my kids. They're 14 bucks, but, you know, they're they're so damn picky with their breakfast sometimes. So I'm like, whatever, I'll just get these. These last probably, between all three of the girls, they'll even have one. They last about two weeks. So there's only 12 sandwiches, but I don't know. I still haven't even had one, so I can't even tell you if they're good or not, but they smell good. Um, I got these for the girls and Leo for their lunches. These are the Special K 100 bars, like 100 calorie bars. These taste like Pop-Tarts. My kids call them bootleg Pop-Tarts, but they're not bootleg Pop-Tarts. They're just thinner, and but they're very light, but they're very, very good. And they're just a nice snack to have in their lunch. So I got that for them. For chips for their lunches, I got Pirate's Booty. This was 13 bucks because the other chips were super expensive. Got some green beans for myself because I eat green beans like multiple times during the day. And I love them. They're so good. Even Rhea like, eats some with me. They're just, I love them. Some people like them, some people don't, and I love them. These were $7.68 because I got the Del Monte brand. I didn't get the um, Sam's Club brand, and I think the Del Monte tastes better. So anyways, got those. I got a case of Coke Zero that was 18 bucks. whatever. Um, I got hard salami for the girls for lunch. This was $9. They like this. They said it's really good. It is cut pretty small, but they do really like this. We got a bag of tortilla chips. I'm actually going to make some um, green salsa right now um, when I get done with this video. So I picked this up for them because we're going to do, um, I'm going to make chicken fajitas with a fresh green salsa and some rice for dinner. So I thought that would be really good. I am going to share with you guys how I make my green salsa and how I make like a shredded chicken and green salsa um, in the next meal prep video. So be on the lookout for that. If you guys like meal prep videos, stick around, subscribe. I do... Um, meal preps, full days of eating, grocery hauls, day in life vlogs. It's just a little page out of my diary. That's why it's called Daniela Diaries. But, um, and I do a lot of groceries and stuff like that. So it's just, you know, a real life over here. But I am going to share that in an upcoming video. And also, spoiler, I'm going to do tamales again. I just did tamales over the weekend and they were pork with red sauce. I'm also going to do chicken with green sauce coming up. So be on the lookout. Anyways, so I picked those up. These were like three bucks. The girls love these. I literally just got each one of them their own kits. These are the Kickin' Buffalo Ranch Chopped Salad Kits. The kids love them. They're three bucks. They love them. And they'll have them for a meal. So they can have this like on Fridays. I don't cook. So they can have that for dinner. And they'll throw in some chicken that we'll have and stuff like that. It'd be real easy. I got two things of these little baby cucumbers. We love these. They're so good. Um, they're three dollars each so six for we paid six bucks for two of them um the girls take them for lunch i snack on them they're so good they're so so good i love them and they're just a nice snack i got a bag of fresh gala apples this was five bucks for five pounds again not bad at all leo had one in the car so they were good they sounded good because they were real crunchy this was nine dollars some olive olive oil non-stick spray i needed it because i you know eggs you already know okay it's just sticking so i had to get it these last me forever as well uh i love love laundry smells love them if you love laundry smells let me know down below like i can sniff all the laundry stuff forever that's just like my favorite so i got some gains it was 17 i think it was like pretty much 18 bucks but 
I don't use liquid fabric softener anymore. And since I've done that, my clothes have been looking a lot better. I don't get like those little grease stains from the liquid fabric softener. Now I will say my washer is the Whirlpool one and you have to add in the fabric softener and the detergent and then the lid locks now and it doesn't have an agitator because at this time when I bought it, nobody had agitators anymore. Now, back in the day when you used to be able to fill up the bottom of the washer and get it like sudsy, I could throw all that in there and it would be fine. But since it used that little dispenser, it was dropping the liquid fabric softener over the clothes and it was just leaving like oil stains on them. So I had to step away from them, but I really loved Suavitel. That was my favorite fabric softener, the yellow one. Anyways, I got this one. This one smells really good. I got a thing of strawberries. These were $3. I'm actually going to cut these up right now. Sorry, I'm going to cut these up right now. And I throw a little stevia and a little squeeze of lemon. And the kids love them. They're really good. I like them like that. It's just like a sweet treat, but it's just strawberries. I got some avocado oil. That's what I use. I don't use anything else. And this was 12 bucks. Not too bad. This was a kind of a splurge and a treat for myself. But hey... You gotta do Alani New Witch's Brew. This is my favorite, favorite, favorite. It tastes like a Green Jolly Rancher. I love it. I love the aesthetic. I just think it's so freaking cute. And I was paying $2.69 each when I would find these in store. So I think I paid 16 or 17 bucks for this one. I mean, again, it was a splurge, but still eventually just saves me money in the long run. I don't drink these every day, maybe like a couple times during the week, but they're really good. Again, these aren't strong enough for me to do as like a pre-workout. But like a afternoon pick me up, these hit. Um, bananas, I think these were like 170. Um, I got fruity pebbles. Now, okay, let me walk over here. Fruity pebbles. It was 678, I think, for the two pack. So if you're new here, hi. If you're not, you already know. I eat cereal every night as my last meal. I carb cycle, so depending on the day of the week, I'll either get 30 to 40 grams of cereal. Some people, it really bothers them that I eat cereal. I don't know why. But here's the fun fact about life. You can damn near eat anything you want, honey, as long as it's in moderation. So 30 grams of Fruity Pebbles is probably has probably less sugar and less calories and less carbs than, I don't know, let's see here, maybe a, I'm going to go out there and say it, one of those protein bars or jars of, you know, you know, whatever you're eating and you know the protein chips and stuff like that so just be i think everybody sees this and you guys automatically assume that i'm like eating a big like soup bowl full of cereal do i wish that hell yeah i love cereal but honestly it's 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 enough to where it gives me a little it, it gives, it's a little nice little treat at the end of the night tastes good but it's not an obscene amount so Stop giving food morality and understand that everything is, you can have pretty much everything you want in moderation. Portion control is key, moving your body, stuff like that. If you guys like seeing these and seeing how I eat, stay tuned, subscribe, check out those full days of eating. I have lost over 35 pounds. I completely transformed my body with weight training, cardio, and eating a balanced diet. I eat carbs, I eat fats, I eat proteins, I eat everything. I have a treat meal once a week. Sometimes now I'm up to two treat meals a week. And I'm still, the scale's still moving. I'm still leaning on. I'm still losing fat. I'm still losing inches. So anyways, fruit loot or fruity pebbles. And then I got four packs of tortillas. These are our favorite, the El Milagro ones. And I think that's it. Damn, that was 221, huh? Whew. All right, y'all. I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye from me and my broken nail. See ya. Bye, friends.